So the question is, if God knows and loves us more, why doesn't he talk to us more? Okay, the answer to that is that God does talk to us. Um, but God talks to us in a very specific way. Uh, God shows himself to us through the world he created. So whenever you look at stuff, that is God talking to you. Like in nature and in heavens, it says that God's glory is declared in that. Um, and then also, when you look at the church, when you look at other people, when we look at each other, we should, we're supposed to see Jesus in each other, if you're a Christian. And so whenever we talk and encourage each other, we take that as encouragement from God. And then finally, of course, you know the Bible. God speaks to us primarily through the Bible, through his Holy Spirit speaking to our hearts. So yeah, that, that's, that is how God talks to us. But it does take a little bit of listening to hear and understand what he's saying. Good question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. In a way, I am saying that. Yes, that is true. God not God does not save us because of anything inherently good inside of us. God saves us because God is good. And so, if you trust in God's goodness and Jesus's inherent worth and His like value, then yes, we find our worth and our value in Jesus. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Yes. Question. How do we accept God? How do you accept God in your heart? Okay, so first, God needs to change your heart in order to allow you to do that. So the Bible says things like, um, create in me, uh, the Bible says things like, um, replacing your heart of stone with a heart of flesh. So it's not necessarily anything that we do first. Okay, first, we, we do have to ask God, God, change my heart so I would want to accept you, stuff like that. And then you do what I said, you admit that you're a sinner, you believe that Jesus died on the cross for sins, and then you confess and have the I, I say that like to make it easy, but becoming a Christian and believing in Jesus, it's not like a formula you can do. You actually really have to believe it. That's just a way to make it like very clear. Okay, but in, at the end of the day, God needs to ask God that you, He would make you love Him. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go this way and then we'll be done. Yes. Um, does God yes, absolutely. God knows you more than anybody. Um, and so here, here's something to think about. When I was preparing this message, I was like, okay, like people have known me more in my entire life. Like first when I was born, probably my parents knew me more. And then like when I was like a like a child or like a teenager, they probably my friends knew me more. And now like probably my wife knows me the best. Um, but even though that changes, God knows me better than all of those people because not all of those people know me 100%. Like nobody can know anybody fully unless you're God. Part of being God means that you know everything about everyone. And so, yeah, only, only God. God. Good questions. Okay, I think we have to end. So, thank you. Time's up. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah.